On today we review, it is The Artist for Source Fed Movie Club. It's a 2011 film and it is a comedy romance drama. I had no idea what was going to be happening in this or the format of this. And when I turned it on and it was in 4.3 in black and white, it threw me a little. I checked to make sure it was actually supposed to be, but yes, so the film is black and white and it is filmed in 4.3 aspect. The artist really reminds me of like grade 12 English when you're talking about the classic comedy, how it starts on the high point, hits the low, and then hits another high, so it's a smile. And it does. It starts off showing George Valentine, he's played by Jean Desjardins in this, at the height of his career, he's at his like peak epitome. And then it shows Peppy Miller, she's here and he's here. And then that, throughout the film you see that here and here is becoming here, here, they even out, and then she surpasses him. The film is an experience. You need to go into it and understand that it is black and white. It's silent throughout. Really when there is sound effects it's a little jarring because you're used to it being silent. The one thing though I do like about silent films in general is the fact that there's never silence because if the film's silent you're going to be hearing everything behind you etc. You can contemplate silence but you'll never be able to contemplate in silence. There are parts of this where I was thinking, what, why are you doing that? He gets drunk and then destroys all of his reels and then burns them in his house, in a room filled with furniture. I've been drunk and I've been down. I've never wanted to set my house on fire. I don't think it was his intention was to set his house on fire, but I would have done it in the backyard. Because this is a silent film, the emotions had to be conveyed through their faces and actions. And it's done very well. Uh, George Valentine is great. Peppy Miller, she's uh, played by Bernice Bajot, and that's a great performance. The ones that I really like, though, uh, James Cromwell as Clifton. I really am partial to him since uh, American Horror Story Season 2 Asylum. He's really good. He's the driver for Valentine. He's really a loyal person. It's, it's nice. The runaway, though, for this, to me, is Uggy. He's a trained Jack Russell Terrier. He was in Water for Elephants, and then he's in this, the artist. He also has a memoir called Ugly My Story, which came out in 2012. But the dog is the runaway star for me in this. He ends up having a lassie moment where he has to go to a police officer and it saves Valentine. The police officer says that Valentine owes his life to this dog. I think there's more to that line than just the fact that the dog rescued him from the fire. Whenever there's a film, that dog is always starring with it and everyone loves a cute little doggy. I think that is why Valentine was able to keep going. The film is good as a film. As a movie to sit watch, I don't want to recommend it. it. On IMDb, it has an 8.0, which is higher than most of the other ones that we watch here. I understand that why it got the Oscars. The film itself, like I said before, it's an experience. You need to have an hour and 40 minutes set aside for silence because you don't want to be distracted. It is a silent film, and they do, at points, uh, intersplice the dialogue text. Sometimes, though, you can tell that, from reading the lips of the actors, that the dialogue text doesn't match up, and that's a little annoying to me. One of the worst things in this, though, is Peppy's driving. I don't know if she's never driven before, ever, but she's like, and almost takes out three people, and then hits the frickin' tree, and it's like, what are you doing? She could have waited and Clifton would have drove her there, but I guess if she would have waited, then it would have been bang and it wouldn't have been the tree. I'll say it, I'm glad I watched it. I, keep or delete, though, it's uh, definitely delete. I don't want to see this again. I'm not going to recommend it to anyone, unless you are wanting the experience of this. This movie is able to convey a very emotional things without the use of word. I do enjoy the uh, near end where he walks up to the formal wear shop and through the window you can see a tuxedo and it looks good on him and it I think reminisce, makes him reminisce of the good times and also perhaps the fact that he wants to regain that. There are things that you can learn from this, uh, kind of like change is constant. If you can't get with the change it will leave you. Valentine finds that out, he loses everything. There are things outside of his control he couldn't do anything about, like the stock market crash. But change is constant, and you need to be adaptable. So this Today We Review rounds out the dozen, number 12. It was The Artist, 2011 black and white film. It's a delete. It's for Source Fed Movie Club.
I'll put an annotation here for the other clubbers. It's a hashtag SFMC artist. You can click the annotation or I'll put it in the description. It'll take you to it. The description will have it sorted by uh, recently uploaded. It doesn't allow me to do that by annotation. So please like, share, subscribe. You can reach me on Twitter at MadLFan. You can use hashtag today we review. I would love to have suggestions for future films to see. Alright, well until next time, thanks.